Hi everyone. I was wanting to show you how to take care of a biopsy because sometimes it can be scary when you have something taken off your body or a cut on. Um, however, I went to the dermatologist and had what I call a beauty mark, but it could be in like a flat molar freckle. It was a little bit darker and bigger than this, but they told me that I couldn't keep it, so they done a biopsy on it and cut it off. Next, I get a phone call that I have to go to a pl plastic surgeon and have the margins cut out so it does not cause cancer, which is what happened here. They cut it out and got the margins and I'm cancer free, thank you Lord. And I received eight stitches. Now you can get stitches that can be taken out and you can also get stitches that dissolve. So I got the ones that dissolve, that way I wouldn't have to go back and once this healed, I would be all done. So it's kind of just your own choice, but let's get on with the video. So for the first 24 hours, remember to do not get your incision wet at all. And to properly clean it, you will need some liquid soap. I have the antibacterial, a cup, and some water. So take your liquid soap, squirt in the cup, as many squirts as you think you'll need. Turn your water on. Allow it to get a little bit warm first. Also within the first 24 hours and soon after that, when you do decide to take a shower, don't put your leg directly under the shower because the impact of the water can loosen your stitches and also hurt your incision. So now we have the soap and the water and you can just prop your leg or whatever Part you had that done on your body and begin to pour the soapy water on your incision to properly clean it then you'll want to take a towel and just pat the incision you don't want to rub it because it could jerk your stitches. So just pat it dry. Next, you will want to get a Q-tip. And I bought this antibiotic, antibiotic pain and scar cream at CVS. It is what I asked the pharmacist what's best and for scarring and healing, this is what she recommended. Take the ointment, start at the top of your incision and kind of blot down with your ointment. Do not rub it. Then go back up. Blot it all around. Make sure you get the whole area. If you're wearing shorts and you know you're not going to be around any germs or anything getting in it, you can leave it uncovered for some different times of the day. But if you're going to be sleeping, the blanket can catch your um incision and make it bleed or it can also um get your stitches and pull on them so for that they sell these different size band-aids at cbs also i'm sure walmart has some also and if you have a bigger incision when i first started and they took the mark off. I could use a small band-aid. It's actually this size. It's just a round 
little band-aid. And then, once I had this done at the plastic surgeon, I had to go to this size band-aid. So, what I did was, I used these at night, and I used them if I'm going to wear something long that goes over this, because you don't want anything rubbing it. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you have any comments, just reply below and have a blessed day. God bless on your healing. Bye-bye.